Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for Friday, June 7th. I'm James Spann. A little wet at times later today, but the weekend will be somewhat drier. Still watching Andrea to the east. Let's go in there and take a look at some sky cam shots around the network this morning at the insane hour of 5.30 a.m., I slept in 30 minutes today, and accordingly, we get a little bit of daylight out there. That's the trustful sky cam. We note some fog there. Now, the fog, pretty thick in spots, but that will burn off fairly soon. There's the Inverness sky cam overlooking Highway 280. That was captured at 526. You can see some fog, especially around the Cahaba River. And down south, that's our Gulf Shore sky cam. The surf will improve today. It was very rough yesterday. Uh, due to uh, Andrea, but as Andrea moves away, conditions much better. And for the weekend down there, things look pretty good. About six to eight hours of sunshine. There will be scattered showers and storms around, but that's typical for a summer day on the Gulf Coast. Uh, Andrea to the east, we have a pretty good short wave coming in from the west, and uh, we think that will trigger showers and storms this afternoon. We're still, uh, starting off the day in the upper 60s and low 70s, Birmingham at 71. Highs probably lower 80s today. Check the watch warning map. Look at all the flash flood watches in the path of Andrea from near Augusta and Savannah north up to uh, Boston and the coast of Maine. And so we know it looks like a, a tornado watch up early this morning for parts of eastern North Carolina. The county's there in uh, yellow, and that's where there is a standard slight risk of severe weather today. Also a slight risk over parts of New Mexico and far west Texas around El Paso. Tomorrow, standard slight risk over the middle of the nation. Day three, which is Sunday, a small slight risk north of here along a cold front that will bring probably a better chance of showers and storms for us on Monday, but no organized severe weather expected here for the next uh, five to seven days. Here's the rain through Wednesday of next week. Amounts here about one inch. Better opportunities will be today and then again Monday. Of course, the big numbers with Andrea up the upper part of the Atlantic coast. That storm this morning is near Savannah, Georgia, and will be rolling northeast with time. Of course, all the effects of that will stay uh, well to the east of our state. Let's check modeling. This is the uh, GFS, the OZ run, valid at 1 o'clock today, and you can see the energy coming through, and down below that, we'll expect scattered to numerous showers and storms. This is the high-res NAM at 2 o'clock local time this afternoon, showing a fairly good coverage of Showers and storms over the northern half of the state. Maybe a heavy downpour or two, and those uh, storms should end early uh, tonight sometime this evening. So if you got outdoor plans tonight, you should be okay, like baseball or outdoor concerts, things like that. What about the weekend, you ask? Well, this is tomorrow on the high-res NAM, valid at 1 o'clock local time. And, you know, you see a few showers in there. We're going to mention isolated showers, but by isolated, that means most folks are not going to get wet. Uh, tomorrow. Highs in the mid-80s, and both the NAM and the GFS are spitting out the chance of any one spot getting wet at 10%. Uh, the better coverage of storms down south and even down there, they'll be scattered. Hey, let's go to Sunday. This is uh, early Sunday afternoon, 1 o'clock local time. The, G, uh, the uh, high-res NAM showing scattered storms over the southern half of the state. Um, and again, and the same thing for us, we're going to mention... Uh, just the, a few scattered storms. And really, the models have come in a little more aggressive with moisture return on Sunday. So instead of isolated, we might bump it up to scattered. Scattered storm Sunday afternoon. Highs mid-80s. Both models are at 86 on Sunday. You can see organized rain to the north and west of here. And then Monday, a cold front comes in from the north. That should bring a pretty decent chance of showers and storms. Highs hold in the middle 80s. Tuesday, the question is, can that front push south of here? And it's going to try and do that. Fronts don't make it through that often in June, but they can, so we'll trend it drier. Maybe just a small chance of a stray shower. And then Wednesday looks relatively dry, and temperatures should ease up toward 90. Thursday, a little system passing north of us, and that might squeeze out a shower, especially over the northern third of the state. Then a week from today, we'll watch that upper high that is over northern Arkansas around Harrison. And uh, that should be a fairly toasty day. Low 90s are likely, if this is right, and mostly dry. 
We'll check the end of the forecast on June the 22nd. Higher heights are west of here. There's an east coast trough, and we like that in summer. Good to see that in June, July, or August. And that's right, the hottest weather would be west of here, and our weather would be pretty typical, warm, muggy, with a few scattered showers. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can, watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 on TV or the live stream at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Be sure to catch the next episode of Just Talking It Up on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. Hey, you forgot our names. No. You did? You forgot our names. Don't be silly. I'm Janet. You're a crash. See? <laughs> She's just like a goose. She wakes up in a new world every day. <laughs>